welcome back guys to another video like always I'm um, how to tech tips and I hope you enjoy my videos and of course don't forget to subscribe comment and like and share any of my videos today's video is gonna be about how to add or subtract months from a date in Excel all right let's get started so here you can see that there are names associated with dates and then how long in months. Basically, if they had a vacation or just doesn't matter, just whatever, whatever I could think of I put in here. This is an example. Um, so the first thing I'm going to want to do is configure the dates to be dates instead of just general numbers. So how we would do that is we would pick the cells that have the dates in them. And on your keyboard, this is very important, whether it's Mac or Windows. First, I'm going to tell you how to do it on Mac. So on for Mac users, you would hit Command and 1 the number one and for windows users you would use you would hit control one and a lovely pop-up will show up like this you may be in a different section just go to the numbers tab and then in the categories make sure that you're in dates and then have the very first one highlighted. And from here, you have to make sure that your format is the exact same as what is highlighted in this first one. So as you can see, I guess it doesn't really matter which one you pick. You just have to make sure that it is the same has all the other ones so uh, month day year so on and so on day sorry day of the week day and then year this one's just the easiest to input so we'll stick with this one and as you can see I have the same format as over here so year month day okay and once we have that highlighted, we'll hit OK. And then from here, we're going to have all our months already in here. So it's going to be negative four months. So we're going to be subtracting from this day. We're going to be, next one is adding 25 months to this day. Taking away 10, adding 20, taking away 24 months. OK. So now here, we're going to write a, actually before we do that, we'll just configure it so it's correct again. So we're going to highlight all five of these. And then same thing, Mac users, Command 1, or for Windows users, Control 1. You're going to get this menu again. We're going to go to Dates, and then same thing, highlight the same one and then we go okay so once that done we can put in the formula that will do this automatically for us so it's equals e date and then bracket so start date is going to be this one so our very first date and then we're going to do a comma and then the months so I'm gonna be taking away four months so we're gonna do this one and then we're gonna close the bracket and then hit enter and as you can see it took away four months so it is going to be December 5th 2021 and you can do this for every single one if you want I'll do this one comma, how long, close it, enter. Or to make it easier, 
we can just drag it down. And how we would do that is just go to the corner here and do you see how it changes color to black instead of white? So you would hold, left click and hold and then just start bringing it down and all of them should come up by themselves. By themselves, sorry. <clears throat> and that's basically it. So you can just look very quickly. So two years from 2020, correct. 20, correct, correct, and correct. And that's basically it. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'm How To Tech Tips. Keep teching on.